Hello and welcome to Chill Game Build, the channel where you come to chill and where I play video games, build Lego and repair gadgets. This is the final episode of my Build Review Series 1. Don't worry though, I will be making a Series 2. In the last episode I built this. Set 75161, the TIE Striker Microfighter. And in this episode, bringing it back to episode 4, I will build and review the B model for this. Set 42147, the excavator. Before I begin, I will explain how this video has been broken down into four sections. Firstly, this being the intro. I will then briefly skim over some details. Then you can see a quick time lapse of the build process. And finally, I will share my own opinions. So, make yourself comfortable and enjoy the video. Here is the lego.com website. On the right is the dump truck. And on the left is the back of the box showcasing the excavator. The instructions for this one are online only. There was no physical manual included in the box. This set retails for £8.99, it contains 177 pieces which works out at 5.1 pence per piece and is aimed at ages 7 and up. Here is the specifications sheet. They mention that when kids have finished with the main build that when they're ready for something new they can rebuild the model to create an excavator toy for more roleplay adventures. I won't go into any more detail as you can see that in my other video where I built and reviewed the main build. So my first impressions before I build, uh, working from the bottom up I can see that the uh, sides of the tipper from the main build are used as the main base for this one and also like the, the lights there just at the bottom in front of the wheels those look nice switching over to this main image for the excavator um, looks like we've got a rotating feature for the main body of the vehicle and looking a little further up we've got the black triangle half beam technique pieces which make up the cab and a couple more floodlights on the roof and next to it is the crane arm which articulates using this lever or actually no there's there's one more behind the cab just there so there's two levers on this one one to lift and lower the main crane arm and then this second lever which we can see clearly uh, looks like that will function for the, the scooping mechanism so it looks very functional uh, I think this will have good play value and yeah I guess that's it for my initial impression those are the details let's build
Here is the excavator, the B model from 42147 complete. And for my opinions, I will start with what I think are three pros and three cons for this build alone. Then I will rate this B model on its own for the play experience and the build experience. I will consider the set as a whole, including the main build for the value for money. So over to the pros, I'll start with what I think is a great overall design. Um, I think this build looks great. Not a lot really out of place, uh, possibly this tan piece here and uh, the axle sticking out just there. Not too much really out of place in my opinion. Uh, you know stickers here too. Um, personally I'd probably have this reg sticker hidden. I'll just rotate that. Um, but yeah also the colours are grouped well. So I've got the blues at the bottom and the yellows for the main bulk. Then the greys and blues back at the top here for the crane. So yeah great overall design. Um, there's only 11 spare pieces from the main build, so yeah, I think the designer utilized the limited parts especially well. Um, my second pro being the lights. So I just like these little details they managed to add. Uh, they've got the lights down here at the bottom, both headlights and brake lights. And we also have the blood lights over here on top of the cab. Just adds that additional bit of finish to the to the build. And thirdly, I would say these levers, they operate really well. Uh, they don't impact on the look too much, the blending. And they're even operable with just a single hand. So yeah, that's really nice. Move up and down, and away you go. Unload, drop the drop the rubble, whatever you've collected. So yeah, those are the pros, and this leads me nicely onto the cons. As I must say, the crane arm stability, as you can see there, it does slowly drop under its own weight and gravity especially if the scoop is fully extended so yeah once again you can see that dropping there this does slightly hamper the playability for me i would say and it also limits the number of poses you can achieve without having to uh, use some form of intervention Uh, the second con being driving the vehicle so obviously the wheels are fixed so there's no steering but also because of the rotating mechanism it it, it causes causes a bit more difficulty in, in turning the vehicle and you know driving it around if you were to, to play with it and finally I'll just mention about the weak point, so we've got the rotating mechanism and it's only held together by the one um, blue half axle piece which is half an axle, half a pin connector, locks in there, I mean it's sturdy enough and obviously it uh, allows for the rotation but it is a little, a little weak and can be pulled apart very easily. 
So, those are my pros and cons. Let's see how I've rated it. So, to rate this set, firstly for the playability, I would give this a 4 out of 5. I'm surprised to say it feels more fun to play with than the main build. Um, okay, some parts are a little fiddly, such as the 360 degrees rotation and driving it. But I must say I'm really impressed, it's really simple and effective. For the build, I would give this 3 out of 5. You get 30 minutes of build time roughly, and that was me taking my time. It was fun to see how the crane arm comes together, uh, but I feel like this build did require a bit more patience, uh, especially to, compared to the other build. Uh, it was a little difficult to put together at times, I had to balance some parts when they weren't connected all together and I also had to pay close attention to align multiple pins on single beams which can be a bit tricky. For the value I would give this 5 out of 5. I would even give this a 6 if I could. Um, it's £8.99 pence here in the UK, that's 177 pieces at 5.1 pence per piece. And according to BrickInsights.com, the average price for Technit sets is 12 pence, sorry, 12 cents per piece. And this set is $12.99 over in the States, so that's 7.3 cents per piece for this set. So yeah, much better than the average 12 cents per piece. Uh, yeah, this is excellent. Um, 30 minutes for each build, that's an hour's worth of building, plus another half an hour if you want to put it back to the dump truck. That's uh, plenty of value. So overall this set gets a 4 out of 5 from me. Uh, younger kids might struggle a little bit with the build, hence the 7 plus rating. It's really fun to play with and it looks good to display too. Um, I'm even tempted to pick up another one of these sets and pose both of the models together. That would be cool. Uh, and I think they would also play well together too. You, know, you could excavate and load the dump truck potentially and then unload the dump truck somewhere else. So yeah, really good fun model and really good fun set for both of the models. And before I go, here are the leftover pieces from the main build. This is the last page from the instructions. And thanks for watching my build and review series. If you enjoy my content, please like, comment and subscribe. Unfortunately, this is the end of series one for my build and reviews. I've had a lot of fun making these videos and I hope you've enjoyed watching them too. Please let me know what you liked and disliked, things I should keep the same or could do with changing so I can make series 2 even better. This has been Chill Game Build, stay tuned for the next one, over and out, peace.